thank you everybody for coming. I'm excited to uh, hopefully give you guys a good message today, not only for the kids, but also for the parents. So that's what we try to do, make it fun. All right, so today we're going to talk about faith. Does anybody know what faith means? You guys do? Who can tell me what faith is? What is it? Uh, love. Well, um, there might be a component of love. Faith in God? Yep, that's, but what is it? What does it mean? Trust. Trust? That's a good one. That's really good. What do you think? Yeah, that's also good. Those are all really good answers. Let's see what the Bible says. Okay? The Bible says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So that means we have a hope for something, right? And we believe that it's going to happen. And then, even though we don't see God, even though we don't see Him, we have assurance. We're guaranteed that He's going to show up for us. Does that make sense? Okay. So it's complete trust. Who said trust? Yep. Belief and loyalty to God. Even when we can't see God. Even when we can't hear God, even when we can't touch God, knowing God knows best. Okay? So those are some, some components of faith. What, is, what isn't faith? Do you guys know what faith isn't? Does anybody have an idea? Jen, what isn't faith? Doubt. Doubt. Unbelief. Unbelief. Okay, remember these words, guys. What else? Go ahead, you. Not trusting. Not trusting, right? The opposites. Go ahead. Not yeah. Not trusting that God will ever take away. Yep. Did you raise your hand? Me? Okay, you. When you don't forgive somebody, everyone you lie. Okay, that's a good one too. Let's see what I wrote, okay? Faith is not magic, okay? God is not our personal genie. Who knows what a genie is? Yeah, you all do. You all have probably seen a movie with a genie in it, right? And they rub the lamp and they, yep, exactly. And they make a wish. That's not what God does for us. Well, that's technically witchcraft. And we don't mess with that. Okay, so faith is different. Faith is not magic. All right. Faith is not trying to tell God what to do. We don't tell God what to do. We want God to have his way. Okay, so faith is God knows best for us. We might think we, we have something we want and we can ask for it. But instead of saying, I have to have this my way, I want it to be your way, God. I want it to be your way, no matter what, because I have faith that you have the best way. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah? Okay. Faith is not trying to get your way. Right? Have you guys ever tried to get your way with your parents? Yeah? Does it work? No? <laughs> Sometimes it works? Okay. God's, God's plans for us are better than our plans for ourselves, Because he loves us and he's perfect. He knows exactly what we need. Okay? All right. I'm going to give you guys an example of faith and prayer. All right? You guys want to hear a story of something that happened to somebody and how they got their prayer request answered by the Lord? Okay. This is Rena and Jack's story of faith. This is my sister Rena and her little dog Jack. And we're going to see how prayer requests and faith in God had an outcome. Go ahead, Rena. Yeah, so as she said, my name's Rena and this is my dog Jack. 
And so for the longest time when I was little, I always wanted a dog because I just, <laughs> it's like a typical child request. I just wanted a dog and I always loved dogs. And so I asked God for a long time in my life, I was always like, um, God, can I have a dog, can I have a dog, please, a dog, I want a big dog, a small dog, I don't care what dog it is, I just want a dog. And for a really long time, I like didn't hear anything, so I was like, okay, that's all right. Then we moved to Arizona, and my mom got this prayer jar. And so she was like, just like write down whatever you want, and just put it in there, and we'll leave it to God. So I wrote down on this little piece of paper, God, can you please give me the perfect dog at the perfect time? So I put that in the jar, and after that, I was like, you know what? I'll just leave it to God, because God's timing is the perfect timing. So I was like, I'll just believe that he'll give me a dog when I need the dog and I'm the perfect time to have the dog. And so I think around six months ago, something like that, we got Jack. And we got Jack for free, which is crazy, because like, his specific breed is kind of expensive because it's hypoallergenic. Which is another um, thing I thank God for because it wasn't what I specifically put down. I didn't put down a checklist of things that I want. A dog, I just said, give me a perfect dog. And I have a lot of allergies, so having this dog hypoallergenic just come to us like that was such a blessing. Um, <laughs> and he was so perfect for me. Um, because I had faith and trust in God, um, he answered a prayer that I didn't tell anyone that I wanted, was that if you don't know much about dogs, is that when they get like put into a family, they pick a person who is like their top person, like they love them the most. And that's usually the parents and like the leader of the house. So me, I knew that like it was selfish, so I never told anyone, but I was like, you know, I want a dog that'll love me, like, not me at the time, right? So I was like, but I was like, that's selfish, so I can't really tell anyone that. But God answered that because this dog loves me so much, and I am his top, and I didn't tell anyone that, but because I let God choose the dog and not have a checklist or, or tell him this is what I want, this is what I want, and give it to me, he gave me a dog that... <laughs> listens to me, loves me above everyone. He gets so excited when I come home. He'll, My mom will come get him from my bed and take him out to, to pee. And then when he comes back, he gets all excited. He's like, I'm back, I'm back. Did you miss me? I'm back. <laughs> and it's adorable. Um, he gave me it at the perfect time because I'm a freshman in high school. And a lot of my friends left. So I was having a hard time fitting in with a bunch of the new kids and like getting along with a bunch of people. So I felt kind of lonely. So I asked God, um, can you give me someone for me because I'm having a hard time? And he gave me Jack at the perfect time to have him, someone who will love me. Um, it was perfect. Um, so I didn't have to constantly ask for him or give him a checklist and just ask God, can you give me this, a perfect dog? I don't care what dog it is. Just give me what you think the perfect dog is at the perfect time. And I look back now, those times I asked for a dog, it was not a good time because he, um, because like what would happen along my life it wouldn't be great to have a dog along with that. And so he is just so perfect. He's he's small, so I can take him everywhere. <laughs> um, we got him for free. He is hypoallergenic, and you know, um, uh, we had a bit of a struggle with like if you were to get a dog, because like my last house, like our house is small, but we had a big backyard. So if we wanted a dog, it wouldn't be a great space for it. So we're like, we need that, and then our house now has a tiny backyard, but the house is um, spacious. So we're like, we need a dog that'll be able to fit, it doesn't need a lot of playing room, and so he doesn't have a lot of energy, <laughs> so it's, he's so perfect, and he loves to cuddle, and he just loves him. Amen. Just, Amen. Yay. Thank you, Rena. <clears throat> yeah.
Okay. Did you guys like that story? Yeah. yeah? Maybe you guys can meet Jack after, okay? Yeah. He's a really sweet guy. There's actually more to that story. Maybe you all will hear it later, but... Um, so here's what happened. There was a prayer request, okay? It didn't matter that it was written down or in a jar. That's not what mattered. It was a, the request was made to the Lord with faith. See, she made her request known, and then she used her faith to believe that God would give that to her in the right timing, and he did it. And what did she say about Jack? He was the exact perfect dog. She couldn't have picked herself a better dog. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> and it's important to remember every one of you is God's favorite. He didn't do that for Rena because she was his favorite. Every one of us has the same opportunity with God, okay? So that's the end result, an answer to prayer in God's timing. And this is a picture of the actual jar and the prayer request. So you can see right here. August 2019, for a dog, the perfect one at the right time. That was Rena's. What you didn't know is her mom, who she lives with, also made a, a request that says, Father, we want a dog, a personality that will, uh, ble what's it say? Uh, oh, bring life and joy into the family. Please choose the time. So her mom also had written a prayer request. Okay, so what if you don't have much faith? Does anybody feel like they don't have a whole lot of faith? You have a lot of faith? That's great. So if somebody doesn't have a lot of faith, Matthew 17, 20 says, He replied, Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Do you guys know how small a mustard seed is? You do? Well, maybe some people don't. So I'm going to have Sister Alyssa pass out a mustard seed to you guys and a sunflower seed so you can see how tiny the mustard seed is. And that's the amount of faith that we need to have, just a little tiny bit. And the Lord will do the rest. So she's going to pass those out, and we're going to keep going. Here is a mustard seed. You can see the size of this penny. How tiny is that mustard seed in comparison? Tiny, huh? Teeny tiny. All right. What stops our faith, guys? What could stop our faith? Video games. Video games. <laughs> you know, ironically, <laughs> that could be true. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. YouTube. That's true. Why YouTube? Because there's a lot of bad stuff. There is. Right. So if you listen to something that's not true, right, maybe there's a video that makes you scared. That takes away your faith, right? Yeah, that's the opposite of faith. Okay, doubt, we talked about that a little bit. Unbelief, not believing God, not trusting God. How about negativity? Being negative. Nah, he's not going to do it. I don't think he's going to do it. I don't know. He doesn't like me. I'm nothing. Being negative, that'll stop your faith. Okay, no prayer or Bible time with God. No prayer or Bible time with God. How many of you guys pray? You guys pray? Awesome. How many of you guys read the Bible? Yep. When do you guys read the Bible? You guys. I try reading it at least once a week. That's good. Okay. Do it more. <laughs> you guys try to do it daily, okay? And if you're having a hard time, get your siblings together. You know, for the older ones, get, get your little sister. Get your little brother. 
and get them together and read Bible stories together. You know why it's important? Anybody? What is the Bible? It's the sword of the Spirit. It is the sword of the Spirit. What is it? That is true. Ethan? What is the Bible? Yeah. It's God's Word. That's right. And it's the truth. So it is the truth. If anything goes against the Bible, it's not true. The Bible is the truth. So this is how you can tell the difference between a lie and the truth. You compare it to the Bible. What does the Bible say? You have a thought that says, you're no good, you're dumb. What does the Bible say about you? The Bible says that God planned you before even the world was created. So you're not dumb. He loves you. Okay? Make sense? What do you have? You have a question? Don't be shy. When you tell the truth, in the Bible, the truth will set you free. Amen. The truth will set you free. Great. And then the last thing that can stop you is bad spirits. Right? Those are the ones that whisper those lies in your ears. Those are the ones that have bad plans for you. You guys know what that means, right? Have you ever had something tell you to do something naughty? Something to tell you that you're no good? Who's had that? Negative thoughts. Oh, right here. Okay. Negative thought? What was it? Anybody want to share what their negative thought was? Anybody over here? Go ahead. What was it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Probably something like what I said, right? Go ahead. What was your negative thought? The bad thought? That I thought that when you, when you don't listen, it, it's the truth. Right. Okay. So what she said is um, there might be a lie that says you're not going to get caught. Right? You can do what you want. You're not going to get caught. It doesn't matter because God sees everything. You can't hide from God. He's a spirit. He knows everything. Yeah? Okay. So. <laughs> well, she can repent of that today. Okay? She'll, she'll tell the Lord she's sorry today and dad. So that's good. Okay. So let's test your faith. Who's going to be a volunteer? We're going to have... Jen is going to grab a volunteer, and then we're going to do something fun. Okay, you want to be the, the volunteer? Okay, come on up. Pink shirt, she's coming up. Okay, this is going to be your blindfold, okay? Jen's going to make it work. You might have to double it up like that and then just tie it. You good? Yeah. It might need a little more length. Okay. Yeah, there's two because you can see through it. So keep them together. Here, sorry. Sorry, I didn't know there was two. I had to do a makeshift blindfold, and uh, this is what I came up with. Old t-shirts work great. Okay. Make sure you can't see, okay? Let Jen know if you can see. And then I'm going to have you turn her around and we're going to set something up here. So in our life, we have to trust that God is going to direct us the way we need to go, even though we can't see his plans. Right? Okay. So yeah, we're going to spin her. Go down there. Let's just walk her down. In faith. Okay, <laughs> so what you're going to do, Jen, is you're going to tell her in directions. You're not going to steer her. I'm not going to touch No, you're going to tell her, you know, turn to the left. Okay? Now, what else we're going to do is we're going to put some roadblocks. Okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to have some roadblocks. Because we have things in our life sometimes that come up, right? And we got to get around that. And we have to trust God that he's going to 
get us through the roadblocks, right? You can do it, Allie. All right. This will be a good experiment. Okay, go ahead. Yep. And then you turn to the left. Walk straight ahead. Go slow. Good girls. Move forward. Head to the right a little bit. Turn to the right a little bit. Your other right. <laughs> that way. Keep going straight ahead. Turn to the right a little bit. A little bit more. Can you kind of twist around a little bit? There you go. Step over. You're going to hit that eraser. Step over it. Okay. And bring your other. There you go. Turn to the right just a little. Just a little. You're perfect. Walk straight ahead. About four more steps. Put your hand out. Okay. Walk ahead a little bit more. To the right. Turn to the right a little bit. The other way, honey. Oops, the other way. To the right. Okay. You're about two steps in front of that chair. You step forward. Turn to the left a little bit. To your other left. Take one step forward. Put your hand out. <laughs> Put your hand out a little bit to the into your front. Like reach out to your front. And then swing it over to the left a little bit. Step to the left a little bit. Take a side step. Okay, take another step forward. You're right in front of the chair, sort of. Reach out. <laughs> Go ahead. Almost You're doing there. good. Almost there. Down. Put your hand down. Put your hand down a little bit. Oh, she almost, she almost touched tiny it. Tiny step forward. Tiny. There you go. Now read there. Oh, where is it? Yay. All right. She made it. Did you figure it out? Yeah. Okay. So she it. made it. Oop. We don't want to take it. anything. Okay. So that was not a smooth journey, was it? No. It wasn't. So what was the problem? She had flesh leaving her. Yeah, the blindfold. Right, she had a blindfold. That's true. She couldn't see. Right. She had faith, though, right? She kept going and she kept listening and she kept doing what Jen was asking her to do. So that's what we do too with the Lord, right? We trust that because we love the Lord, we've accepted Jesus and He's guiding our path. He's making our path straight, even though we can't see him and touch him, he's still directing us. And we know in our heart what the right thing to do is, and we have the Bible to guide us, okay? So we use our faith and we trust him. Okay. Okay, here's an example. Peter and John had faith to heal a lame man. You guys remember that story? Yeah, right before Jesus went up to heaven. Sure. I don't know, but that, that seems legitimate. Okay, let me make sure that I got this uh, turned up here. This is Peter, who was one of Jesus' disciples. Peter told people about Jesus. Peter and John went to the temple to pray. As they neared the temple, a man who couldn't walk from the time he was born was being carried in. Each day, the man was put beside the temple gate, so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When the man saw Peter and John, he asked them for some money. Peter said, look at us. The man looked up at them eagerly, thinking that they would give him some money. But Peter said, I don't have any money for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Then Peter took the man by the hand and helped him up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. He jumped up and began to walk, then walking, leaping, and praising God. He went into the temple with them. All the people saw him walking and heard him praising God. When 
but they realized he was the man who couldn't walk who had been sitting outside the gate asking for money and were absolutely amazed. Wow. Peter asked the people, what's so surprising about this? Why stare at us as though we made this man walk by our own power? He reminded all of the people that it was God's power who healed this man and encouraged all of them to turn from their sins and follow God with their whole hearts. Okay. So today, what we're going to do is have an opportunity to seek the Lord. We're going to get some prayer. We're going to repent if we haven't had enough faith. And if there's anything lying to you guys, bothering you, we're going to command it to leave in Jesus' name. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Well, if I can have the ministry team come and start... Um, praying with the, uh, the parents, then that would be great. We're going to start with the parents, and then we're going to work our way to the kids. Okay, y'all. Okay. What's that? What do we do with the seeds? Oh, you can throw them out. Okay, or you can keep them. But you can you can toss them if you want to. There's a garbage in the hallway. What did you say about the parents? What? What did you say about the parents? You said that. You're going to start with the parents? Yeah, praying what with the parents. Is? Yeah. Oh, praying with the parents. Yeah, exactly. So generally, the kids get a lot from the parents. So when you work with the parents first, you break off, and they come into agreement for the deliverance of their children. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and she just told me that there was a little girl that was trying to flirt with her oh. in school, and we addressed it. And then she told me now that the little girl trying to put a hickey on her. Oh, no. I said, really? Yeah, we got to rebuke that. Yeah, I just found that out, so I don't have it, so I've got to bring it up. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Um, well, let's, let's, I'll go back over there with you guys, and... Let's go talk. Let's go do it. Where did they go? They? Oh, they're over here. Okay. Let them, Rena can minister to them. Actually, so I'll sit with you here. Let me let Rena know. Hey, Rena. Do you want to minister to these two girls? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Can you girls tell um, Rena what's been going on with you? And that's for you. That's what's going on with them and their family. I want to pray with Dad real quick. Okay. Can you let, um, who had the who had the girl that was trying to flirt with them at school? Amira. Who did? Amira. Was that you? No. That that happened to? She gave me a hickey too. Okay. Amira, she, she's gross. Okay, yeah. So she, so you can't let her do that she, to you, okay? To Don't let her do that to you. She tried to choke me. It's not me good. Okay. Well, you tell Rena, and she's going to pray with you guys, okay? And then I'm going to pray with you after. Okay. Oh. Do you, Alyssa, do you want to minister to these two? She didn't want to go to sleep. I tried. Oh, she's a good girl. Or three? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she told me. Oh, and the little and the little one says, she's nasty. She goes, she's tried to hit me. And Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I just found that out to me. But, well, you know, they, they're, 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 uh, she, I became a single parent. I was in a DCS uh, and and 
and why? You know, I mean, Did you ever have that in your life growing up with anybody? No. Not really. No? No. I, I mean, and, uh, on school, you know, sports, I was involved in yeah, sports. Competitive. You know I mean? competitive yeah, competitive. They're real competitive and they're really talented. I mean, they pick things up real good. But, uh, I mean, as far as that, between my family, I had nothing but sisters. Right. So it wasn't, it wasn't anything like that, you know. Right. Other than somebody that saw that me and Mike, as I already discussed with yeah, yeah. my dad, you know. But, uh, how, how is that healing up? It, it, it's, I've, I've come a long ways. I mean, really, I've come a long ways. And then uh, over throughout the years, I've learned up a couple of things. And then, you know, I know how to do something delivery. Amen. Everybody comes sort of glory. Oh, amen. You know, <laughs> we do. Yeah, we all do. And, uh, well, what can I pray for you today for? Well, like, is there anything in, like, that you struggle with still that you see actually as a reflection with them? Uh, just like primary, uh, disobedient, you know, they're uh, stubborn.